Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to show you my October favorites this month, as you can see from the title down below. I'm gonna go ahead and get started because I had like two things in here and then all of a sudden my little basket was overflowing. So I wanna get started and I always say I'm gonna try and make my video quick and it never is. So let's try and make it under 10 minutes, right? Which I know is not quick. Um, I'm gonna start off with this L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder. This is the Bare Skin Perfecting Makeup. I have mine in, ah, what color? Oh, Sand Beige 322. This came out like last year sometime, I believe. And it just has like this, it looks like a really pretty packaging. This is just, uh, this is not the foundation itself that's showing the color. This is like painted into the bottle, bottle somehow. This has, to be completely honest, the worst like, this is the worst packaging. It looks so pretty, but it's so useless. It is the messy, it's a very liquidy foundation. So it's super messy. I usually have to like pour it on my fingers or on my face or on my brush or my sponge or it, you know, it's really messy, but it's beautiful. Recently I have been purging. I've been going through all of my makeup drawers one by one, section by section. Um, and I was gonna get rid of this. So as I knew I was gonna start doing this process. I started pulling out certain things and I'm like, okay, let me try it out. Cause I had two of these and I got rid of the darker one. <sighs> and I'm so glad I didn't just get rid of it. I was using this two weeks straight. I absolutely love it. It just gives like the nicest like finish. Of course, as I was getting ready today, I didn't put this on. I tried to put on as much as possible that's in my basket here. So it just gives a really nice finish. And it's not matte, it's not dewy, it's just somewhere in the middle where you look like healthy. And it just, oh, it just has like a nice satin kind of finish to it. Really nice, nice coverage. I mean, I probably get like medium coverage out of it. And um, it doesn't feel cakey, it doesn't crease, it doesn't settle, it doesn't move. I do set my foundation with a light powder and I'll, you know, no matter what I use, it's always fine. But um, but I really, really like it. And I'm so glad that I pulled this out again and used it because I'm in love with it. So I've been literally, when I say two weeks straight, I mean like for 14 days I was using this. Absolutely love it. Uh, the next thing is this Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. It is like a deluxe sample size that we got in an Ipsy bag a few months ago. This may have been in my favorites last month or the month before. I don't care. I absolutely love this it. Is, I just, so this is what the wand looks like. It's a very full, like natural bristled wand. There's a lot of bristles and they really get into the base. They're, it's such a black mascara. My lighting isn't out. I can't help it guys. It's absolutely ridiculous outside. It's like super sunny and then it gets gray and cloudy. Um, I love the formulation. It's not too wet. It's not dry. My lashes don't get like gunky, chunky, spidery, clumpy. They don't get anything other than what I want them to be. One coat is perfectly fine. Two is absolutely amazing. Three, when I'm feeling a little sultry, that's when I go three coats, but I really, really love this. It just is. Let's talk about my lip combination because it is a combination of three and I love them all. And this is the Jordana Easy Liner Retractable Pencil. This is in Silver Lilac. And these are like, what, two bucks at Walgreens? And look guys, I'm almost done with it. But that's the color there. Okay, it's like, it's silver lilac. It's just like a purple, but pink, kind of, I don't know, kind of mauve-y. It's, it, on my, on my lips, it looks kind of like mauve-y. And depending what lipstick or gloss I put over it, it's perfection. I can line my lips and fill them in and put a nude lip. I can put like a hot pink, fuchsia, light pink, absolutely anything other than like an orange or a red. I wouldn't really use this for either one of those, um, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. And it just kind of lends like a little bit of pinkness, like a mauve pink um, or mauve. I think it's mauve. Um, but I just absolutely love this pencil, guys. This, these are like some of my favorite, favorite, favorite lip pencils. Um, from anywhere, really. I mean, I haven't tried like a whole bunch, but I absolutely love this. So Silver Lilac is like my go-to ride or die lip pencil. And it's just something I use literally almost on a daily basis and never mentioned to you guys. So I really wanted to pull that out. Then I slapped this baby on my lips. This is Ballerina Shoes. It's a L'Oreal lipstick. And this is super, super pink. And it does have like a little bit of shimmer. Uh, can you guys see? I can see it ton, so it's right here. You can see like how shiny that is. Yeah, so this is the It Cosmetics by Jamie Kern, and this is the Vitality Gloss Stain in Marvelous Darling. Look 
that's that. Of course, as I'm showing this, it's gonna look brown probably because the sun is away. When the sun, if the sun comes out again, I'll show it again. Really pretty packaging. Um, really, really pretty packaging. Okay, the sun's kind of coming out. So you can see it's like a lighter color, mauve light pink, a little bit of nude. It's just like a pinky nude. And this is what it looks like. Nice applicator, decent size, because you guys know how I feel. It does curve a little bit like here for your lip, which is nice. And it has that little divot in there to hold extra product, which is great. And I love it. Left. This is so glossy so smooth and creamy and it just i think it's beautiful like that whole i hate saying it guys that whole my lips but better kind of look but i really really like this now this was sent to me i had reached out to it cosmetics just to see um if they would be willing to send me a few products to try out for you guys they are a pricier line and i love their cc cream so they actually sent me this and the um their one of their under eye concealers which i'm really excited about because you guys know I'm obsessed with my under eye circles. So, um, so yeah, this is me cheating and saying I absolutely love this. Throwing this into my October favorites. Let's just say I'm trying to show you my like lip today. Um, but I really, really love it. If something happens and my lips fall off because of this guy, I'll update you. But I really, really love it. And this isn't something I normally would have tried because it is pricier and it's just a gloss. Now, if you're into pricier lip glosses, you don't mind spending the money on it, I would definitely go for this. It's very moisturizing, very creamy, and it stays on your lips. It doesn't wear off easily, which is nice. I probably got maybe four hours out of this, which for me is pretty good because I play with my lips a lot. Now, I'm also loving, and I've had this for maybe two weeks or so. This is from my Ipsy bag, and it's the Jessie's Girl Mineral Baked Eyeshadow in Esmeralda. And I did obviously show this in my Ipsy unbagging and reviews and raved about it. I am wearing it right now. It's just like dark charcoal like really dark gunmetal on the outer corner and then I have like a really bright silver on the inner corner so those are the two swatches so that's the silver part and that's the dark part so it is like this baked swirl so when I want the silver I'll just go in here to this area but if you go all over this that's the color you get and then just so you can see the beauteousness of it oh my god so that's the silver and that's like that more charcoal gunmetal kind of color <sighs> i just absolutely love this guys i actually have the i think it's plum frost is the purple one i got that myself sometime like a year or two ago gorgeous it's just so beautiful i get it for my friends um you can apply this dry wet makes it even more intense Wow, I just, I love it. I love the versatility of it. It's easy to use. You can use your fingers, a brush, both, a sponge. You can do whatever you want, but this is just such a great product. And these, I believe, are $3.99 at Rite Aid or obviously the Jessie's Girl website. But I was psyched to see this in my Ipsy bag because it's a really great product. And I just wanted to show you guys how beautiful it is. So that's that. Again, I just wanted to show you guys. I've been really excited about this. Um, I also have to say this, guys. Walking Dead is back. My husband thinks I'm a crazy person because he hears like zombies in the background, but I'm obsessed with it. And oh my God, the last episode I saw, if anyone else is obsessed with Walking Dead, don't give away spoilers because I know some people are still catching up, but please thumbs up, comment something so I know I'm not the only one obsessed with this show I just like these people can't catch a break you know and when in doubt I'm just gonna say it when you're living in the zombie apocalypse if someone crosses you badly when in doubt do not be the bigger person I'm just gonna say it I'm a Christian I like to think I'm a good person but sometimes you just gotta kill everybody because they will come back and dot 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 just saying. Walking Dead is amazing. I'm also obsessed with Scandal. I have a ton of shows I could talk to you guys about, but comment down below and let me know what your favorite show is that is out right now. My last favorite ugh, is this massive box. And guys, it's the iRobot Roomba, vacuum cleaning robot. <sighs> So I'm part of Buzz Agent, which anyone can sign up for. And you just kind of take surveys here and there. And if you qualify, they'll give you discounts or they'll send you some free products. And you just kind of go on your social media. Um, you don't need a YouTube or anything like that. I had randomly qualified for something and I got a discount on this guy. And I had tweeted about it, Facebooked. 
uh, Instagrams. Like, I'm obsessed with this guy. So I have a few names for him. I call him like Juan Pablo, um, Esteban, Charlie. Uh, you know, I kind of reference like a lot of different guy names for him. But this is just one of those little motorized round flat like little vacuum cleaners that you time it and it goes around your house and cleans up and then he docks itself and whatever now it's super expensive we had like a 35 percent off coupon so we saved like 200 bucks on it but it was still really expensive it's not something i ever would have purchased otherwise but it's amazing we have like an 80 ish pound chocolate lab my little baby sniper and he just sheds like a mother, to be completely honest. His hair is everywhere, like it's in the washing machine. You know, like I take out clean clothes and his hair is there. So this thing goes off, we set it like every night and it's just amazing. Like there's no hair, it gets all the dust, it goes on carpet, which is great. So we put it upstairs, it goes under the bed. It has like this detangling feature where if it gets caught on my clothes or something like that, it detangles itself. You can block off rooms with like this sensor tower kind of thing that comes with it. It's just an amazing, amazing product. And we were obsessed, we're obsessed with like looking at the gunk in it once it's full because it's just, there's so much dust, even just compacting the dust, you know, with hardwood floors and it's just disgusting. It makes me feel like I'm a filthy person, but it is so amazing and so worth it. And I'm so glad that my husband convinced me to get it. So I definitely would recommend it if you guys, I mean, it's expensive. The one that we have is the Roomba 870. So it's like a higher version and they actually have one specifically for pets that I, I don't know what version that is, but this one is just great. So even if you get a, you know, a lower grade, like model, whatever you want to call it, I think it's just a really great product. And I just have more important things to do than sweep all the time <laughs> for, and for it to not even look like I'm doing that. Um, so I had to show you guys, you know, I like to show you everything from like makeup and TV and YouTube channels to like random house things. So that's it. Those are all of my October favorites. This by no means was a short video. Sorry guys, but I just had to share everything with you. So once again, let me know your favorite shows down below, or if you have a Roomba, let me know what his name is. Cause I feel like everyone names their Roombas. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Stay beautiful and stay blessed. Bye.